Welcome to our video series on more advanced features of Windows XP. In this video, we'll introduce you to Windows Explorer. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Windows Explorer. Let's start by opening up My Computer. And of course, this is how my computer looks. Windows Explorer is really a step further. It works much the same way, and if you're familiar with my computer, navigating through files and folders, Windows Explorer really isn't a huge step. It really just gives you more flexibility for navigating through your computer. You can access Windows Explorer simply by clicking on Folders in My Computer, or by clicking on Folders in My Documents. Essentially, whenever you're in a window like this, a navigation window, if you click on Folders, you see that the left pane of the window suddenly changes. It effectively becomes a navigation tree. I call it a tree because really you could say that you're looking at the top level branches now. For example, the top level branches are C Drive, D Drive, the DVD Drive, the Removable Disk, Control Panel, and so on. And next to these, there's a little plus sign. For example, if I click on the plus sign alongside Control Panel, that level of the tree expands. So you see what's below that level. So within the Control Panel branch, so to speak, there are administrative tools, network connections, printers and faxes, scanners and cameras, which also has more there as well because you can see a little plus sign next to it, and scheduled tasks. So it makes navigating through your computer much faster and more convenient, and it also allows you to have a much better overview of exactly what's on your computer. For example, if I want to start navigating C Drive, I go to C Drive, click the plus sign, and actually, if I change my mind, I can just click what has now become the minus sign to retract this branch, so to speak. Like that. And if we open it up again, there we go. Let's take a quick look in Temp and we can keep looking through multiple subfolders. Then, when you've found the folder you want, and actually I'm going to backtrack a little and use the example of My Documents. Open up My Documents, and it's important to note that on the left here, in the left pane here of Windows Explorer, it only shows you the folders. It doesn't show you files. It shows you folders and things like control panel and hard disk drives and so on, but it doesn't show you files. To see the files in any single folder, you need to click the folder here. And now, on the right you see, the full contents of that folder appears, including all the folders. All the subfolders within the My Documents folder, and all the files. So then, you can choose to navigate into any of these subfolders by, for example, double-clicking here to go, in this example, into the Adobe subfolder. As an alternative, we can just go back, and you can click on Adobe here, and the contents of that folder appear here. So really, you can see that Windows Explorer is just a step beyond My Computer because it gives you the entire navigation tree of your computer on the left. You can navigate that way, and then on the right, when you choose any of the folders on the left, when you click on any of those folders, the full contents of that folder appear on the right. All the subfolders and files, the contents of that folder. But as you saw, you can still go up a level. Go up a level on the right, or double-click to go into subfolders. 
So on the right, it still works exactly the same as my computer. But the difference is that on the left, you have this navigation tree. Using Windows Explorer over my computer, once you get used to the interface, it does give you more flexibility and a broader view of what's actually on your computer.